I am so happy you stopped it by. It is that time again. Time for my fabulous Friday favorites. And I've only got a few this week. I've been trying to focus on uh, certain makeup products for this week because I've been testing some things. And uh, you guys know it's been Battle of the BBs week. So I've been wearing my BBs all week long. And I'll just start off with that. You guys saw my review on the Maybelline Dream Pure BB. I told you I can't put this down. And I think all week I have not put it down. I think I've worn the uh, Rimmel BB Cream one day, but this has been a favorite for probably several weeks now. I'm afraid I might run out sooner rather than later because I've been using it so often. So this is great. If you saw my review, you know I'm in love with this stuff. And then on to eyes, I've been using again my Fergie Take on the Day Shimmer Primer. And the reason I've been getting that out is because I've been using it with this new limited edition quad from uh, Wet n Wild Fergie as well. And this is in the colors, or the shade Mixing Metals. And I'm sorry this is messy, but it is so beautiful. All these beautiful metallic shades. Got a nice kind of a, a coppery bronze over here. A really pretty kind of mint green shade and then kind of a uh, pewter type shade really pretty all these are metallic and shimmer finishes so if you can get your hands on this i definitely would recommend it i am going to be doing a review if i haven't already on the limited edition things from her line that are out for spring so be sure to look for that if it's not up already and then the rest of my eye routine for this week has pretty much been a little bit of my Lorac front of the line pro liquid liner. I've been totally into winging my liner again. I've had a little more time this week because I haven't had class. It's been finals week so I've been studying and in the mornings I've had more time to do some fun makeup playing which I love so I've gotten more into using this again and I love my liquid liner. You guys know I love to wing it out so been using that this week as well. And then I've developed a little bit of a new mascara routine, and I think these have both been in favorites before, but not as conjoining products. Um, this is the Alme One Coat Get Up and Grow Mascara, and this is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara. And these are both in the shades Blackest Black. And I told you guys, I think in one Friday Favorites, that this is my one of my favorite mascaras and this is good for just an everyday mascara. I got a nice brush on it there. Just your typical brush, typical mascara. Lengthens. Um, I do find this kind of makes my lashes seem as if they're growing. They seem to get a little less brittle with this so definitely good on this end. And then I was kind of doing my mascara the other day and I wanted some super crazy lash volume without falsies. And I thought you know I think I want to try to layer a mascara on top of my everyday just to see what that would be like. I've never tried to layer on top of this one. I've never considered this a layering mascara as this is my everyday mascara. Um, but I decided to layer the Maybelline Rocket Volume. You guys know about this. Lots of raves on YouTube about this. It's got that uh, kind of fibered brush. Really great mascara. But if you put these two together you're going to get some crazy volume but your lashes are still going to feel semi-flexible because this is not a very crunchy thick mascara so that's always one of my problems when I layer mascara I feel like my lashes are very crunchy and unnatural feeling and sometimes unnatural looking this is a very natural mascara so when you pair these two together you don't get crunchy uh, spidery lashes very good lengthening, very good at volumizing. The two together make a wonderful natural looking but still very full lash. So if you haven't tried these two together then I highly recommend it if you've got them both in your collection. And then on to lips. For lips this week I have been loving my NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Nude Peach. This is so pretty. I have it on my lips now. I'm pretty sure this has been in a Friday Favorites before. I love this stuff. Such a pretty color for summer definitely something you need in your life if you don't have it. It's exactly what it's called. It's a very nude peach bordering on a little bit of a coral shade. Really pretty. And another thing I picked up recently that I've been really enjoying is the NYX Glam Lip Gloss. This is those uh, glosses they have at Ulta that are very very glittery shimmery. Not a subtle shimmer but a true glitter. This is actually called Glitter Dreams but I think this is so pretty if you're not afraid of glitter to put just in the center of your lips and it gives such a volumized look to your lips. 
really kind of a sheer color to it, but you can see that shine is so beautiful. And I love, uh, I love the color selection they have on these as well. The glitters are gold, silver, all those things, but the color of the gloss is just sheer enough, but has just enough of a pop that when you put that over a certain color, like I've been really enjoying wearing this with kind of a berry shades like this NYX, no, NYC City Proof Intense Lip Color in Ballroom Blush. These two are great together because this has just enough color in it to go over this and volumize your lips and go with this shade. So, been loving this and I'm going to probably check out some more and do a little review for you guys because... I have never seen anybody talk about these on YouTube or blogs or anything, but I think these are great. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this Friday Favorites. Have a wonderful weekend, and be sure to stick around this week. I've got some great videos coming up for you, and thanks again for watching.